Hey yo, April here. Welcome back to All Life Yoga. Thanks for coming to check me out. Uh, if you get a chance right now, uh, you should look down below this video, like kind of around here somewhere. Um, it says subscribe and you should do that because this is great and you're going to want to keep coming back to it and you'll probably be all sweet and yoga blissed out afterwards and you might not remember, so just do it now. Uh, thank you very much. Feel free to comment, you know, let me know what you think. If you have any requests, comments, suggestions, any kind of stuff, I like to talk. We should talk together. Be cool. Uh, coming at you from Portland, Oregon, where it is currently springtime, getting all warm, getting all green, and uh, I'm in this house uh, only a couple months now, so I have a backyard for the first time in a long time. It's amazing. My roommate has this teenage daughter, and she lives with us part-time. She came in the other day, and she said, oh, it's getting really green out there. And I said, yeah, sweetheart, we live in Oregon. It gets really green. And she said, no, no, I planted these seeds. My dad gave me these seeds. I planted some stuff. It's already starting to grow. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. What'd you plant? And she said, oh, I don't remember. I'm like, okay, great. So I've got all these weeds growing out here, right? I don't know how to garden. I don't know what the heck's going on. I don't know kale from a dandelion when it's starting out. So I'm probably going to end up getting rid of most of the things that she's planted. And we, we discussed this. Um, so there's this metaphor, right, of planting seeds. And I'm not the first yogi to say it. You probably hear it all the time if you've ever, so if you haven't anyway, we have this metaphor that we plant seeds, you know, in our minds and our bodies and the seeds that we plant uh, karmically, um, they grow, right? They start to expand. There's a really nice proverb that I really like. Uh, watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your character. And watch your character, it becomes your destiny. Things compound upon each other. So planting seeds, good seeds, is wonderful, but we want to make sure that we have a clear direction to our seeds and that we have labeled our garden. Maybe even better than that, label where the flipping garden is so maybe we don't pull all the kale out. Um, so I'm going to tell you where we're going today. We're going to be doing a lot of opening up the backs of the legs and the hips, and we're going to be working into compass pose. And if you have no idea what that is, you're kind of going to put the leg behind the head. And now, if you do not put the leg behind the head, you've still done a lot of really awesome yoga and hopefully planted the seeds to want to do a whole heck bunch more yoga because one day you might get the leg behind your head. And then again, one day you might not. And honestly, who the heck cares? It's just yoga, right? We call it a practice, not a perfect. Hopefully you're here because you want to be. Um, while, while we're getting ready, we're going to use another prop today. No books, but I pulled out this really awesome scarf that I don't need anymore because it's getting warm, but it's one of my favorites because it kind of doubles as a blanket because I am perpetually freezing. Um, but it's also nice and long and I could use it as a strap because I also don't have a yoga strap and I'm feeling like I might even just keep going with like weird household sort of things as my props, toys, remember we're playing around, not that serious, not a handicap, just using some stuff to get the yoga happening. Um, yeah, okay, come on, stand up, let's do this thing. Hopefully by now you found some sort of strap-like device. It could be a scarf, maybe you've got a tie, maybe you've got a nice belt that looks really neat that you want to use. Um, use your, I don't know, phone charger, something long, string-like. Um, we'll use that in just a moment. We're going to start off standing today. We're going to do a lot of moving, a lot of flowing. And if you feel the need to have to relax at any point, not take the same flow, chill out. Dude, you're like in your living room or something, you're by yourself, you do you. Nobody's there to judge you. If they are there, if they are judging you, you show them the door. There's mine, right? Cool. So close your eyes. Bring your arms down by your sides. And then notice that you are standing on your feet and see if you can stand a little bit more evenly on your feet. So Take a little bit of a rock forward and back, softly shifting, maybe a little bit side to side, maybe even moving circularly. 
And so you feel the weight even on your feet and then also the growth through the crown of your head. Even top to bottom and then even out front to back by letting the shoulder blades and the tailbone drop down so that you're long in the front side, long in the back side. Call this Samastiti, equal standing posture. Noticing where you are in space. Take another deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then bring your hands to your hips. Keep the weight even on your feet, but bend into your knees a little bit. And then notice if the tailbone wanted to sneak behind you, you can tuck it back down and then look down at your knees. What often happens is they kind of fall in together. So see if you can open them out, knees and toes facing along the same way. And then draw the elbows together, open up your heart, a little bit of a, flap, um, a heart opener. And you're going to feel the tailbone lifting up a little bit behind you. That's okay. We're going to open up the front of the body. Keep the knees bent, the knees facing forward, and start to pull forward, leaving the elbows behind you. So the back is really long. You're going to keep really flat. Push down into your thumbs so that you really feel the flatness of your low back, your sacrum. Make sure the knees stay facing forward. And notice my legs are still bent. If you feel awesome with the legs extended and it doesn't hurt your low back, sweet, do that. But for a lot of us, Folding forward requires a little bit of bend into the knees. Now lift your elbows back, lift your chest forward. And so this is your flat back. This is your Ardo Tanasana halfway fold. So notice I'm not at 90 degrees, or I'm not flat parallel to the floor. I'm up, up quite a bit. Now I can go down a lot further and I can straighten my legs, but if when you start to do that, you notice your spine hunching and all of a sudden everything in your low back goes, oh goodness, stop this. Then stop that. Maybe bend into the knees. Roll your shoulders back. Open your heart. And then lift the tailbone up. Notice that you've now got your hamstrings involved. Even if your legs aren't straight, take another deep breath in. And then fold all the way down. Keep your knees as bent as you would like them to be in order to comfortably reach the floor. Relax your head. Maybe shake your head yes and no. I've got my knees bent so much that I can rest the belly on my thighs. That feels pretty good. Releasing the low back. And from here, we're going to come back up into that flat spine, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway fold. So touch your fingertips to something, roll the shoulders blades back, open the heart up and lift the tailbone. Maybe bent knees, maybe straight legs, maybe flat, maybe not. Exhale, soften down just a little bit and then we're going to stand all the way up, push down evenly into the feet, reach the arms open, inhale. Exhale, hands come down into your heart. So we're going to take half of the sun salutation and focus on lengthening out through the backs of the legs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Lift the tail. Exhale, fold down again. Inhale, push into the feet, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands into your heart. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the tailbone, exhale, fold down, let the back release, and then inhale, stand up. Exhale, hands come down into your heart. And now step your feet closer together again. We're going to sit back into a chair, and then you're going to put your arms out on a table in front of you. Now squeeze your inner thighs down so your hips move back, and then play around with the weight on your feet a little bit, get nice and even. And then stay seated at the same height of table and chair, but I'm going to lift your heels up like somebody's trying to sweep underneath them. And then lower down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sit back at your table and chair. Push the palms down. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, stand up. One more time. Exhale, sit down. Open chest. Inhale, open up the heels to sweep. Exhale, lower the heels down. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, hands at your heart. And now step your feet out about mat width apart so the pinky toes line up. Take your arms out in front of you, but not up. Nice and down. Plug in the shoulders and then sit back as far as you can. 
and then take your fingertips down to the floor in front of you. See if you can drop the heels, or the hips down a little bit more behind your heels. And then reach out. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, pull the hips all the way back. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, sit back. Good. One more time. Exhale, lower down, pull the hips behind, 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 and then grab your strap, scarf, pet snake. Don't grab your pet snake. And then come down onto the ground. Okay. So you stay there. We're going to take the strap up and around the heel of the right foot. Try not to go for like the arch, the middle part here. Go for closer to the heel. So that way you're not worried about trying to pull the leg into the body so much. Maybe try to pull the leg down. And then let your left leg go out and relax. And then notice if your right hip is kind of creeping up towards your armpit, see if you can draw it down. Like the center of your butt cheek is pulling down towards your left heel. And then I like to walk the hands further up my strap so that my arms can just be soft. And then there's a little bit of friction of my fingers holding onto the strap, and that's what holds onto the leg. Good. And relaxing in the hip crease, take another deep breath in. And then hold the strap, both ends in your left hand, take your right hand to your hip. Don't take the hip off the ground, we're just gonna get a little IT band stretch, little outer gluteals, moving the leg gently across the body. I only went about six or eight inches over to the left. And then come back up, take the strap into your right hand, take the left arm overhead, the left heel out, feel yourself get nice and long, and then take the right leg open, and then bring the leg back up, and then bend into the knee, release your strap, scarf, not your pet snake, and then take the scarf, strap, belt around the heel of your left leg and extend it out and find that right distance. So the, the point that I'm making with having my arms extended is that I'm not down here and then like curling in the biceps. Notice my shoulders lifted up. I'm gonna put the shoulders down letting the arms extend, just using friction in the fingertips, and then let the left hip drop down. And I'm relaxing into my hip flexors, my psoas, my hip crease, by letting the thigh bone drop down into the hip, rather than trying to squeeze the leg up towards my face, right? Notice how that changes the sensation in the hamstring. And so what we're doing here is we're planting seeds of softness and openness, not making the demands of our body that it be super flexible, because sometimes it's just not. We're planting seeds, thinking thoughts of I am open, I am relaxed, there is space. And then take the strap into your right hand, left hand to your left hip. Keep that left hip on the floor just a little bit across. Yeah. That feels awesome. I must have really, really tight uh, cheeks right now. Loving this. And then take the strap up into your other hand. Take your right arm up and over your head. Now we're lengthening out through the hand and the foot, but I'm not just letting my belly extend. I'm connecting into that side of the waist. And then maybe that keeps you a little bit more steady as you open the left leg out. Inner thigh. Inhale, take it up. And then bend into the knee, release your strap, scarf, belt thing, and then take the knees into your chest. You give yourself a hug, rock a little bit side to side. We're gonna come into happy baby. Open your knees up outside of your body and then take the arms in between your knees and then take your hands outside of the feet. Now, if that didn't happen or this feels terrible, like go oh, like this, then just lay down and grab the backs of your thighs, right? Who the heck cares? It's yoga. Make this work for you. Plant seeds of enjoyment. Sow seeds of enjoyment. You're going to have your hands wherever they may be and rock a little bit side to side. And then rock a little bit more over towards your right side and see what happens if you let your left leg start to escape from you. Now, you don't have to straighten the leg. You don't have to move the leg away from you. What does that mean? How would that feel if you were to allow the left foot to escape? 
and then come back in and then roll over just a little bit to the left and see about letting the right heel escape. How does that feel? How was that move? How does that make your body move? And then we'll come onto the back, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then grab the backs of your thighs, open your chest, take the head and shoulders up off the mat, and push the belly button down so strongly you set up one movement. And then come into table pose. And then from table pose, push evenly into your hands and feet and stretch your right arm forward and your left arm back, extended table, now even out your hands and feet, and then set the right foot, or right hand, left knee down, and then take the other side. Left arm, right leg, exhale, lower down, table pose. So if that was a lot, if that was difficult, go back there. If the next thing we do is a lot, if it's difficult, go back there. If you wanna bump it up a notch, we're gonna come into plank pose. So my shoulders are underneath my, um, my shoulders are above my wrists and I'm up on my toes. Now from table pose, my hips and my shoulders are at about the same level, same thing in plank. And so let's build this up. Inhale, take your left leg up. Exhale, lower down. Yeah. Keeping the shoulders and hips even. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, lower down. Let's try the arms a little bit harder. Inhale, right leg, right arm. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, lower. A little harder with the arms, even harder both sides. Try it out though. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, lower. You can always go down to the knees. We're gonna try this one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower. From here, downward dog. Push the hips up and back. Relax into the heels. Maybe bend the knees and feel your tailbone lift up away from you. Elongate the spine. And deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then come forward into the top of your plank. Come forward to your tiptoes. Maybe lower the knees this first time. Exhale, elbows touch the lowest ribs, and then push the floor away, open up, upward facing dog. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, look forward and step the feet up to the front of your mat. And when you get there, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, hands come down into your heart. You're gonna take a really wide step out to the left. So I've got my right toes still facing forward. My left toes are a little bit closer to the front of the mat than my left heel is. I'm gonna come into warrior two, and then open up the body, pushing into the pinky toes, reaching out through the pinky fingers. Exhale. And then coming into side angle, my right elbow comes down, and my left arm opens up, not just the arm, but the shoulder, the armpit, the chest. And push down to the right elbow to get out of the shoulder, breathe in. Exhale, stand up. Notice that that might tone the core a little bit more. And then we're gonna to switch to feet. And now left toes are at the back of the mat. The right toes come in a little bit further to the back of the mat than the heel. Bend into the left knee. Keep the knee in the toe in line. Spread the body apart. Open the chest, breathe in and out. And we're gonna come into side angle. Elbow down and then open up the right arm overhead. I'm stretching the ribs, stretching the armpit. Now don't hang out down here in your shoulder. Push down into the elbow, find space. Look at all this, all of this room to breathe. Inhale, exhale, reach up, come on up. And then we're gonna turn back to face the front of the mat, stepping both feet up. Wardrobe malfunction. Take your hands together at your heart and explore equal standing posture again. Maybe even softening into your knees, noticing that they face forward, dropping the tailbone, tailbone down, lifting the ears, breathe in, breathe out. And I'm gonna grab onto our, our toy, our long skinny grabbable toy of some sort. We're gonna do a little shoulder flossing. So you're gonna grab on 
wider than your hips and shoulders for sure. And you might have to change, you know, narrower, wider, whatever it is. Once you find that place, you might have to adjust. We're going to take the strap up and then behind you. And here you might let the hands slide out longer. Now, if your facial expression was something along the lines of this, widen the strap, the grip on the strap, and bend into your elbows maybe. Okay. Now, see if you can keep the rib cage down so that you're not letting this happen in the back, that you're really letting the shoulders floss. So bringing the rib cage together, deep breath in and out. And then what about your tailbone? Maybe bending to the knees a little bit. Deep breath in and out. Good. Even weight in the feet. One more time. And then coming back to the front. Exhale. Good. Okay. A little bit of warmth going on there. You're going to take your right arm up. Strap is behind. I'm going to take the arm behind my back and then bend into the elbow so the strap is behind me. And then take the left arm and pull the arm into the back of the ribs. Take the hand up the back and find the strap. And you can take the strap and pull the strap apart. Open your elbows up. And then to get a little bit more into the shoulders than the back, I'm going to bring the rib cage down, the tailbone down. And then lift up through the back of the neck. Make sure I can breathe. Inhale. Exhale. And release the strap. You're going to take it into your left hand. Ooh, lots of scarf. Left hand behind your back. Or strap behind your back. You're going to take the left arm behind the armpit and then bend into the elbow, lift the left elbow up. And then the right hand kind of sneaks up. Now, I have really long arms and a really flexible shoulder girdle. And if you do, you might also find that you can take your hands together and you don't need the strap. You might think that this is insane and you would really like your strap back because now you can't find your hands. So grab it again, okay? Set yourself up, open the elbows, lift the backs of the ears, drop the tail, drop the ribs, breathe in. Exhale, release. Okay. We're gonna come back to the front of the room, front of the mat, and do a little bit more flowing. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to the top of your plank. You could go to down dog or you could move through. We call this a vinyasa. Come forward, exhale, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, stretch the right leg back. Look forward, step the right foot up to the front of your mat. Take the left heel down, come up warrior one. And then we're going to take a lightning bolt lunge by taking the body forward on the same line as the left leg. Now push out through your pinky fingers and down into your left pinky toe. Notice the fire that might have been lit in your right hamstring. And then come all the way up. Now, if you enjoyed those arms where the top elbow was up and the bottom elbow down, obviously, if you can take your hands together or Maybe take palms together and bring them behind your neck. Okay? You're going to keep the elbows lifted, hopefully not shoulders, just elbows. Come up onto the back toes. And then come forward, warrior three, standing up on the right leg. Reach out from elbows to heel. You don't have to be parallel to the floor. You could be here. And then step the left foot back. And then turn the heel in. We're going to come to horse stance. Good. Push into the pinky toe edge of the foot. Sit down, spread the arms open. And then inhale, straighten into the legs, reach the arms up, turn the heels out, toes face forward, all the way down, forward fold. Wide-legged fold, prasarita. Deep breath in, length of the spine. Exhale, hands to the hips, maybe a soft bend in the knees. Use your underbutt, stand all the way up. And then turn your right toes to face the front of the room. We're going to lunge down, warrior two. Once again, coming to side angle, elbow to the knee, left arm comes up and overhead. Now what you might want to do here is to take a half bind. So I'm gonna take the hand to face behind me and then take the hand, back of the hand into my low back and a little bit of pressure might open the left shoulder up a little bit more. Deep breath in 
Exhale, take both hands down on the inside of the right leg. I'm gonna lift the left heel up, maybe widen the feet out a little bit, take a deep breath in. Exhale, step the left hand a little bit further forward. And you've got the option to take your left knee down, always, so that would move you into side gate. See about stepping your right foot back and then open your right arm up, side plank. Go for one breath in, tailbone to the heels. Exhale, take both hands down. You can come straight to downward dog or inhale, come forward, exhale, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, stretch the left leg back. Look forward, step the left foot up to the front of your mat. Right heel comes down, push into the pinky toe edge, come up warrior one. And now long spine, not crowding the neck, this lightning bolt lunge, reaching out pinky finger, pinky toe. And then come on up. Hands maybe meet coming behind the back, or we take this Gomukhasana or cow face arms variation. Come up onto the back toe tips. Notice my right toes now, whoo, they face down. I'm gonna keep them facing down as I come forward into warrior three. So find length, push out through the heel, not lifting the toes, the hip up, keep the toe and hip facing down. Breathe in, and then step back, release your arms, adjust the heel and toes out, horse stance. Now, if your knees are falling in a lot, you're gonna wanna bring the heels in, maybe bring the heels a little closer together. Go ahead and sit down, tailbone underneath. And then inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. This time the heels go out, toes face forward, prasarita. Hello. We're gonna take a little twist this time. So keep your left hand underneath your face, maybe lengthen the spine, and then take the right arm open, little twist. Exhale, take the right hand down. Inhale, open up the left arm, long spine. Exhale, take both hands down. Deep breath in. Lift the tailbone up, hands to the hips. Next inhale, stand all the way up. And then turn your left toes to face the front of the room. Lunge into the left knee, open up the arms. Warrior two, adjust your feet if you need. Move around, you're not stuck, you're free. And then take your right left elbow. This is my left, good job. And then take the right arm up and open. You can create side angle, diagonal line. Maybe you open the arm up. Maybe you take this half bind and use the connection of hand into the back to open the top shoulder. Open heart, deep breath in. Exhale, take both hands down inside of the leg. Turn your right heel up. Maybe adjust your feet a little bit and make this a really active lizard lunge. Shoot your heart out. And legs are active, heat is building. And then right hand comes forward. You might lower the left knee or right knee and extend your left leg out. Opening the left arm, this is side gate or side plank. And then, and then in your exhale, take both hands down. Downward dog or from plank, come forward. Open the heart, chaturanga. Inhale, top of the feet, upward dog, long neck. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. Then take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good. And from here, we're going to come into child's pose. So go ahead and lower your knees down. You might widen them out a little bit so there's more room for the hips. Come on to the tops of the toes. Don't cross them. Just down. And then go ahead and sit back. Rest your forehead. Maybe widen your arms to make room for your head, neck, and shoulders. Go ahead and take a few breaths here. And take your fingertips over to the right edge of your mat. Pull your left hip down, stretch out the ribs, and then the fingertips come over towards the left edge of your mat. Pull your right hip down, stretch out the ribs, breathe in, and then come back to center. Good. Curl your toes under, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, bend into the knees, stack the hips open, scorpion dog, and you can sit down, come out of this, or flip your dog, Push the hips up, let your right foot find the floor, and then let your tush find the floor. And then find your strap. So I've got my legs pretty wide here. I've got my right knee bent, and I can get in between the legs. I don't have the leg right in front of my torso. There's space. I'm going to take the strap up and around, 
my left shoulder and wrap it around to the hip. And then I'm going to take the arms, walk them forward. And then I'm going to get as close as I can of my armpit around the shin. And for a lot of us, it's going to be the elbow, not the armpit. Armpit around, find the strap. And then try to sit up. Take the left arm behind me, and then find the strap. Then from here, pull into the strap, open the chest, twist. Notice my left shoulder is opening as well as my right shoulder. I'm trying to sit up. Then deep breath in. And then take it down, release the strap, Woo. and then take the hand down to the mat, roll over, curl the left toes under, send the right leg up, open the front of the thigh, and set the right foot down. Inhale, left leg stretches up, bend into the knee, stack the hips open, open the front of the thigh, deep breath in. Either you sit down or flip your dog, and then eventually we'll all come and take a seat here. Grab onto your strap. I'm going to take it up and over your right shoulder and then wrap it around your hip, your thigh a little bit. That way you can grab it back there and then come on the inside of the leg. It's totally okay if your left hip's lifting up here. That's going to happen. We might try to put it down if we can. Take the armpit, maybe move the shin, armpit or the elbow around the shin, grab on with the left hand and then take the right arm open. Notice how I'm twisting and then reach behind Grab onto the strap, pull the strap apart to lift up a little bit taller, lengthening up through the low back, opening the shoulders, the collarbone, breathing in. Exhale, release. Good. Take the strap aside. Both hands down, and I didn't move on this side. That's why it was weird. Curl your right toes under, lift the left leg up, relax your right heel, relax into the front of the left thigh. Deep breath in. Exhale, set both feet down. Inhale here. Look forward, step the feet up to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, hands at the heart. Samastiti, standing evenly. One more short float. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, maybe step, maybe hop back into your chaturanga. Inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg comes back. Look forward, step the right foot outside the right hand, and then come up onto your fingertips and take your left heel down. You're already going to start to feel your right hip want to move out. I'm going to pull it down towards your left heel and then see about taking the left arm open. And it might only come up here, but it might come all the way up. And then take the left hand down. We're going to come up warrior two. And then reach forward, side angle, taking the half bind. Maybe you stay here. Maybe reaching the arm, right arm down, and then getting underneath the leg. What often happens is we have to come down here to reach the arm up and go, where is that hand? And then whether or not you find it, and you might grab the strap to find it, you're going to take the top shoulder open. Deep breath in. Exhale, take the hands down. Lift the back heel. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. You can stay in down dog, go to child's pose, or come to plank forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha svanasana. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana. And deep breath in. And out. From down dog, take the left leg up. Look forward, step it outside of the left hand. And remember, you might need to grab ankles and do some scooching. And then come up onto your fingertips so your arms are longer. Feel free to grab some large volume of English literature or whatever you have lying about in order to make your arms longer. And then get nice and long. And turn your right heel down. Pull the left hip to the right heel. And then pull the right fingertips open as far to the ceiling as you can manage. Lifting the shoulder up to the ceiling as far as you can manage. Breathing in. Exhale. Now stand up, 
Maybe adjusting the feet a little bit. Warrior two. And then coming to side angle, reaching open through the right side body, maybe half bind, maybe reaching down towards the floor. You just came from there. See if you can get the armpit down as much as you can. Reach the arm up, maybe fingertips find each other. Maybe you keep the hands and the thigh in the back, and from there, push into the hands, open the arms up. Open the heart up, open the collarbones. Reach that left hip towards the right heel. Breathe in, exhale, both hands come down. Lift the right heel up, lift the left heel all the way up, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Child's pose, lower the knees down, sit back towards your heels. Deep breath in, exhale. And start to sit yourself up. One more little thing to go through. We are going to try compass pose. I just saw a little thing, and it might not seem like it's a little thing. It might seem really, really hard, but you know what? Let it be a little thing. Leave the ego, the worry out of it. Just continue planting those seeds of, I am pretty open. I'm more open than when I started today. I'm more open than when I began my practice. Maybe I'm open enough for this to happen. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. It's a good deal. Come and have a seat. So I'm going to mirror you. I'm going to talk about my right leg, but I'm going to use my left. So I'm going to have um, your left leg's going to be bent in. And then take your strap, scarf, pult, tie in front of you, just in case, you know. And then we're going to take the right arm on the inside of the thigh and then the outside of the shin, right? Inside of thigh, outside of shin. So on the outside of the ankle to grab the outside of the foot. And then this leg, by the way, left leg, whatever. Whatever makes sense. You might even put something under the knee to prop it up. Whatever you need. You do you. And then you're going to sneak the shoulder underneath the crease of the knee. Okay? And then from here, sit back up again. Right? Once we're up. You're going to hold on to the, the foot and maybe let the heel move away from you. Remember in Happy Baby where I said just let your heel move away. What would happen if it were trying to escape? This might be something like that. Okay, try that. And then take your strap, wrap it around the bottom of the foot and hold on to it with the opposite hand. So it should be your left hand. And then take your right hand down onto the ground. Now try to sit up again and you're probably going to lift the right hip up a lot. And then move the right heel away from you. And then try to open your left arm. Maybe coming in to compass pose. Okay, deep breath in. And then really soft, slow, don't do your things. Relax. And then you have another leg. So let's put that right leg down. Let it hang out. And then there's some nestling. There might be some moving of flesh and stuff, right? Like get stuff out of the way. Get your shoulder as far down there as you can. And then you got that foot. Let's take that foot up, right? And then see what happens when you move the leg away from you. It might just be a little bit. That's cool. Maybe you get your spine lots where you're like, oh, this is neat. Maybe you're one of those people who like to put their leg behind their head, which apparently I am not warm enough for. We're going to see about extending the leg away from the head. So take your strap around the foot with the opposite hand, and then the hand's going to come down here. You're going to take the strap outwards, Ooh. and then you're going to get the leg. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's it. Opening up this way. I'm pushing down into my supporting arm, lifting open through the armpit, extending out through the heel. You could also, rather than the strap, Grab onto the outside of the foot and come up this way. Deep breath in. And then unwind. Come on down. Holy heck. All right. We're going to relax the front of the hip flexors a little bit. Just come on down onto your back. We just did a lot of compressing in that space. We're going to do some releasing. So start off with your feet on the floor a little bit further out than ankles underneath knees and just let your arms drop down for a moment. 
and then walk your feet a little bit wider on your mat. Let your arms come out and then don't move your feet, just move your knees over. So you're not going to have your left thigh on top of your right thigh. You're going to have the knees just open towards the right. Okay. Deep breath in. And then take the knees up and move them to the other side. Just opening up the fronts of the thighs. Don't focus on stretching out the hip flexors. Just let them release. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And then take the knees up. And then bring the knees into your chest. Push the belly button down. Lift the head and the shoulders sit up. And then come close to a wall. I'm going to offer like one of the best inversions ever. Inversion is getting upside down. It's letting the body release itself. Take the short end of your mat somewhere up against a wall. And then you're going to sit your tush right up against the wall. And then lay back. Let your legs be up the wall. Let your arms drop down. And oh, this should feel pretty easy, pretty good. You start to feel dizzy if it starts to feel terrible just come away and lay all the way down on the mat let your feet flop open and your arms come down by your sides regular old shavasana or we can be here legs up against the wall let your breath soften let your mind start to relax Enjoying the growth of the seeds that you've planted, of an open body, a strong breath, open heart. Stay here as long as you like. When you do feel ready to move, and it can be quite a while from now, just hang out. You can bend the knees into your chest, Roll over onto one side, keep the brain juice nice and soft, and start to move yourself up to a comfortable seat. Take a few moments in that comfortable seat after you've spent a much longer time there with your legs up against the wall. I'm committing to continuing to plant the seeds of the things that you wish to grow in your life. Thank you for coming to this practice, for planting, sowing, and hopefully harvesting some really great things in this time we've spent together. Bowing down to this incredible light of love and growth within your heart. Namaste.